Hello and welcome to the 36 tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at how to scale a view. We'll be using the source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a view setup. We will now look at scaling it, which could be used in a game to zoom the screen when the user scrolls the mouse wheel or on a mobile device when the screen is pinched using two fingers. Okay, let's just go ahead and open up our project. Scaling the view is extremely simple. The first method we will use scales the view from its current size, hence can be applied multiple times. So let's just below this to view dot zoom. That is what the method is called, and this takes a. We'll show you. It takes a float variable, and basically this is just how much you want to zoom it by. We're going to put zero point two five f, so it'll be smaller. I'll show you what it looks like without running this piece of code. Run it. This is what it looks like. And uh, now if we put the piece of code back in and run it, you may have noticed that the view still looks the same. It's not that the view hasn't been updated, but the fact that the window stores a copy of the view, not a pointer. Hence the view must be set every single time you make a change to it. Don't worry about performance when setting the view several times as it is just a bunch of float variables, so it's very lightweight and you shouldn't really come across any performance issues because of it. And to set the view you just do window.setView. We can just copy the line above and now if we just run it we will see that the view has been scaled by 0.25f and the view has disappeared that's weird and oops it's easy go back on to here a second we size the view relative to its current size yes one keeps the size unchanged well duh uh, greater than one makes the view bigger uh, makes the view smaller. Okay, let's put 0 0.5 and see what happens. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, what, what we're gonna do is just resize the view. It's a lot bigger now, as you can see. And what now what we're gonna do is zoom out. And as you can see, it has actually will zoom out even more. And actually, the, this is decreasing the size of the view. We'll increase it. We'll put a scale factor of 2. So as you can see, that the view is a little bigger now. So you can see more of it. And we're going to put another 5. No, 4. There you go, we can almost see the entire image. Obviously one thing to note is the way it is scaling it isn't necessarily relative to the content of that window. So you may need to reposition the content or need to move the view around. And what we're gonna do is just copy and paste this. And we'll change this to oh, 1.5. So the total zoom will be six when we run it. As you can see, it has zoomed out. And obviously if you put a number less than one, it will be zooming in. The next method we're gonna be looking at to scale the view is relative to its original size. And to use that, what you do is, first of all, let's just comment this out. It's view dot set size. SF vector to F and then just specify the size of the view which is going to be 400 by 200 so basically what you're just doing is setting the size explicitly run it and we have our size set and you might be able to see that it's a little distorted what we're going to do is actually just change that to 4000 by 2000 so you can see the entire sprite but it is going to be distorting the reason it's distorted is this number isn't the same as our original ratio. Well, we can easily rectify that by changing this to 4000. As you can see, we can see the entire sprite now and it has zoomed out. But if we were to apply this multiple times, you will notice that nothing actually happens. 
The reason it doesn't happen is because this is relative to its original size, not to its current size. A lower task, try using the skills learnt earlier in this series to detect key events and scale the view using the arrow keys or the WASD keys or even using the wheel mouse. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at handling a window when it's been resized with a view inside it. Uh, all the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.